Tonight, we're making Elk Burger, and we got a big group of people joining in. And to add a little twist, we're gonna make a little friendly competition out of it. The rules are simple. You start with a package of lean Elk Burger, and you create whatever dish you want. You vote for your two favorite dishes. The only rule is you can't vote for your own. Whoever ends up with the most votes wins. So everyone is starting with a package of meat that originated from the same elk. It's a bull that Kara killed with her bow in 2018. We've had numerous meals from this bowl and we're down to the last remaining packages of burger. It's really cool to think back on all of the experiences that this one bowl has brought us. Not only have Kara and I had numerous meals from this elk, but we've also shared it with a number of friends. This video is just a glimpse into the various meals and stories that have originated from one bowl. Kim Newberg's world famous lasagna was going to cheat and have her do it, but she's walking around, can't move her wrist, can't move her elbow, so. If it fails, it's not her recipe. It's me. I made chicken pot pie, but instead of using chicken, I used elk. I browned the meat, salt and pepper, onions, flour, and some milk, frozen veggies, and the ground meat. Put it in pie crust, covered it with another pie crust, 40 minutes, 425. Have your girlfriend film you so you don't have to worry about filming. Also get a girlfriend whose uh, mother has an award-winning chili recipe that you can borrow but then tell your coworkers it's your recipe. Very important to be eating hot and spicy pork rinds while you make this dish. That's award-winning for sure. The meatball curry. Now the inspiration for this dish comes from my girlfriend Nikki. She loves to cook Indian food. So I'm hoping the extra spices in it and the depth of the sauce will really give me an edge over the other guy's dishes. All right, so my dish is a pizza meatloaf, which was inspired by a Steven Ranella meat eater recipe. I just changed up the ingredients. So my dish is a different meatloaf, but it has a chili ketchup topping. Really, really good. I'm going to try to be making um, some homemade spaghetti with the uh, spaghetti sauce and maybe some meatballs. Uh, mushrooms and onions and tomatoes. My herbs. I'll throw them in. Homemade should only be about five minutes. Also added some uh, thyme and parsley flakes. I made a version of uh, Hank Shaw's teriyaki meatballs recipe. Cheesy casserole, aka hot dish. Elk stroganoff stuffed pasta shells. I made a homemade stroganoff sauce, which I just followed a recipe online for, and then I stuffed them in pasta shells, baked them in the oven, and came out good, I think. This is the first time I ever made it. Scotch eggs. So is there an egg in the middle of that? There sure is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Crikey. <laughs> it's gonna be great. A little more salt and pepper. Hey! Brandy's lasagna or RJ's curry. The pot pie, the lasagna, and the curry. David's noodles are exquisite. It tastes like pizza. Really? The curry's pretty good. The Has anyone checked his background? Noodles are like a pot. I'm not a little minimal. Alright, so Michael wins with the pot pie. The, the pot elk pie. pot pie. <laughs> Jace is in a close second with his stroganoff shells. Thank you. Coming in third, RJ's meatball curry. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then we got Dan's hot dish, Chris's meatballs, and then hardly anyone else got voted for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy, got, Randy got two votes. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you want to see more videos like this. We're trying to add a little twist with the competition. Um, it's fun for us, but yeah, let us know if you're enjoying them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.